Hey there, Rob here, and I wanted to give you a short little case study really, really quick um, and walk you through the email sequence on a deal that we just closed. Um, obviously, that came from email, so I'm entitling this from email to invoice uh, the presentation. Now, I'm not going to go through the typical case study that you guys see of me trying to build up uh, who I am and what I do and all that stuff. Uh, I'm just going to dive right in and we're going to jump into the screenshots, right? So if you manage Facebook for clients, then you'll want to watch. Uh, if you want to use code emails and you haven't done any success in it before, then this is for you too. Um, if you're also ready to just kind of stop experimenting with the emails and figure out something that works, well, this is going to be encouragement to you because you'll actually see from the beginning to end, right? And if you want to fill your pipeline, then perfect. Um, this is a way to be encouraged by it. All right, so I'm going to walk you through the email trail from start to finish, screenshots. I'll explain the rationale behind the different emails on my end and then on the customer's end. You'll also see the invoice and the payment, and that's pretty much it. I will share with you exactly what I did, how I did it at the end of it. Um, but other than that, this is just a straight walkthrough um, from the email trail. All right, from email to invoice, and this is for a 2,500 uh, deal case study. So what did I do? The first thing I did was a cold email, right? You just write a really solid email and send it, and then they respond, right? But the, the key is this. Your emails need to be inboxed. And the other thing is, if you're dealing with um, people, strangers, right? These people don't know you. Uh, it, they're not going to respond to you if your copy isn't compelling enough, right? So you have to make sure that your e your email gets inboxed, meaning it hits their their inbox. That's why they, they hence the term inboxing. It hits their inbox and it's in their normal scroll of emails, right? Not their spam box, not the promotions box, but their actual email, right? Their actual inbox. So I just sent a cold email at mass, and then you know I, I get a ton of leads, but this one specifically I wanted to share because it goes super deep, right? So when I hit my email. Uh, it's sent out, and then this is the guy's response, right? Uh, I want to point your attention to uh, here the subject line. There's a sense of urgency. There are limited spots, right? And that's when I sent it. Uh, yes, I would like to learn more. Actually, it was not earn more, but learn more, but it does make sense. Um, feel free to call me regarding it. So after I, after I got this email, um, as you can imagine, I got a ton of them at the same time. So what I typically teach is you need to have a canned email already prepared right so in gmail there's a feature in the labs when you go to the wrench off to the top right you click on that go to settings then you go to labs then you go to find canned response you enable it hit save now you have the feature for your canned response that when you click on compose the window pops up at the bottom right and then you scroll all the way down to the little arrow that puts at the bottom you click on that and then you search canned response and you'll see it then you create that canned response follow-up so i sent that right which is this. It says, thanks, I appreciate the interest, and I'd love to hop on a call and talk details. I've got quite a few folks interested, so I need to matter my call properly. And this is true. A lot of people were responding back, right? So then I set up my Calendly. I set this follow-up email that's canned, and all I do is switch out their names, and that's it, right? Bingo, send it to them. Now, he comes back, and he emails me this. He goes deep. He says, Rob, we used to... so." Instead of him addressing um, my follow-up, right, of, oh, okay, great, let me, you know, let me book the time. Uh, so I have people just go and book the, the time, right? And then we jump on the call, and then they explain stuff to me. This guy actually went in, tells me about the gray area, them being flagged, etc., and then he wants to schedule the thing. Now, in here, this is the actual email from Facebook to them. So he went even further to explain a little bit more and share the actual email, right? So once that 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 kind of indicated to me it was a hot prospect in terms of a hot lead, right here, a hot lead indicator. When they share their life story or they go deep, that's a hot lead indicator and you definitely wanna custom your responses. So I reiterate the expertise on my end and then reassure him with some confidence on this you know, custom email back. Yes, that's a quick fix. We run from our business account. You know, thanks for letting me know. He books the call, right? 
Good. I guess I will talk to you. Scheduled on the calendar. Perfect. Booked it. Notice. Same day. The call scheduled. We jumped on the phone. I took all my notes. Um, and then I just sent them the, the initial invoice. Right? Uh, they paid it. We received the ad spend. And then I wanted to clarify a few things just for my team uh, to understand a little bit more about this industry because... You know, it was new to us, and we wanted to, um, to to definitely make sure the numbers made sense, right? So I sent that email saying, hey, great. Um, he responded back. So their average contract for one deal is $18,000. <laughs> so when they close one deal, that's a ton of money, right? Um, and they they do things. They, they're a great company. They do a lot of stuff online. They've got AdWords. They've got mailers, everything, right? They just haven't done the Facebook. So this is my opportunity. Now, we launched that initial campaign. They gave us the ad spin. Um, and this, as soon as we, we launched it, three lead, actually four leads came in. Three were, were um, uh, leads that came in through the tool, right, through lead ads. But then one actually called in. So it was, it was actually four as soon as the campaign went live. So I sent this email after I got um, a notification from the team saying, hey, check this out. Look at what we got. Boom. I immediately jump on. I send them these three, you know, really um, easy screenshots. We got them. Thank you. They're excited, right? So the moral of this story, this particular screenshot, the rationale behind it is whenever you get success, you always want to loop your clients in. Right, whether it's three, one, whatever, right? If it's early in the campaign, you always want to loop them in so they feel like, oh, this is awesome. There's momentum, stuff is happening, right? So they're excited, great. Now the campaign continues. We let it run, and then we had some incredible results, right? So uh, we let the campaign run. I say, here is the report from the time that we spent on it uh, 37 leads on this initial budget. We need a chat because we definitely want to scale this ASAP, right? So this is great. Now, this is a little tweak for you, my friends. Well, not little, uh, not, not a tweak, but it's a tangent and it's a secret, right? This, as soon as you get this momentum, right? This information now can be sent to other companies in the industry that are outside of that state as a case study type of email, right? And I got this. Uh, once this happened, I sent it to uh, about 10 people and about five people responded, uh, 10 other prospects and five prospects responded. And we're probably going to start with three of them here shortly at, you know, at the turn of the, um, of the year. But my point is, it's another code email that's within a follow-up sequence that takes real relevant content and numbers to butter those guys up, right? So, um... Side note, use your results immediately and then throw it out there and give people a chance to respond to that, right? So these guys are excited. Awesome. 35 leads. Great. Uh, my guy said 35. So but here's what he's saying. He's saying, okay, this is our synopsis of it. Four bad numbers. One speaks English. One doesn't, whatever. Two weren't interested. So that's how they got 35. Um, 16 left voicemails, five responded, called them back different times later this week. Uh, but they did get five, three, four, five, six, actually six really, 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 really hot prospects. Right. And this is still early. Um, so this is definitely favorable, right? Uh, we're working to find quite the least. So they're excited. They're definitely excited. Um, so my campaign follow up is, Hey, this is great. Um, I'm open to negotiating our fee with you guys. Uh, so here's my pitch. You know, we can do definitely with the heightened ad spend. I think with the information that you guys gave us, we can definitely send you close to a hundred leads in a 30 day period, right? A month. Um, that's one little cycle, uh, campaign cycle. So after I sent that campaign, um, you know that so this is the quick pitch this is the quick pitch saying hey we got you the results you guys are excited here's the quick pitch let's negotiate boom he responds back with the counter offer says okay send an invoice for 1250 and 1250 and then he goes into why etc etc i'm like okay that's, that's fine that works sure no problem we send the invoice uh gets paid done due amount invoice is paid 
We just paid invoice. Thank you very much. You receive that. And we're going to start campaign this week, at least building it out, right? Um, but that's the case study. So I took you from start to finish on how that happened and the rationale behind it. So you got to see a lot of hot lead indicators, right? Um, there are cold lead indicators that are just, you know, kind of, uh, they're okay. And then you got the warm ones. But once you get to see uh, lengthy responses and they open up because they're trusting, and well, mainly because they're savvy and they, they know what they need and the type of service they need, um, they respond that way, right? So how much did it cost me to acquire this customer? Nothing. It didn't cost me anything because it was just an email that we sent. Now, so what did I do to get this customer? Yeah, an email. Um, the interesting part about this, and I wanted to save this for you, uh, is, to re is to emphasize the idea of the follow-up, right? Um, so here's kind of a roadmap on how I operate. I lit when I literally send emails, leads come in period because I've mastered the copy that would generate um, interest and allow them to be compelled by it to respond and um, deem themselves necessary for the help that we can provide, right? So I send mass emails uh, and then I'll follow up with the people that uh, open but didn't respond and that's the level two follow email follow up email and these guys responded on that second level follow up email right but I framed it in a way that enticed them right usually with that urgency factor that enticed them to say okay I want in Right? Maybe they just didn't read it the first time. Maybe it got hit in the spam box. So many different dynamics. We don't know. All we know is he responded. So it was on a second level follow-up email that I used the scarcity and urgency tactic right, to draw that uh, response and then move forward. So if you actually found value or at least found this entertaining and intriguing, <laughs> if you run Facebook ads for clients, then you know what? You need to add code email to your outreach strategy. You absolutely have to. It costs you nothing, right? But there are a lot of moving pieces that you need to get in place, right? Because you might try to send 500 emails on your Gmail account and it'll get banned, right? You might send 250 and it won't get inboxed. Um, you might even run your code emails on e on Mailchimp, right? And it's it's just not. There's so many reasons why it, it won't work, but there's also the possibility of it working when you do the necessary things, the right things, technically, to put yourself in the best position. So, if you want to, I put this uh, scale surge is a course that I put together. Um, it's a really it, a really cool course that can span a uh, any industry, but I specifically made it for Facebook, right? So if you are a Facebook service provider, this will help you, right, to do the exact same things that I did to land that client. Um, and the course, right now the course is going for six ninety seven. dollars um, It was two ninety seven dollars over the holidays, and uh, the price... That was the early bird pricing, so I, I left that up to honor those people, and then now it's uh, at the holiday discount. You're gonna save two hundred dollars, right? For only four ninety, dude. This is crazy, absolutely insane. Four ninety seven. Just when you enroll here, right? Click on that, go through your sign up, but then you use this code. It's gonna give you the two hundred dollars savings, um, so you can pick it up at four ninety seven. Uh, later on next year, it's going to hike up. And actually, once it gets started, uh, this is going to be a probably a $1,200 course because I'm going to wrap some other stuff into it. Um, but yeah, these are the responses that I get, man. And you see, these are the calls that get scheduled. Um, so this is the module. It'll walk you through the overview. Um, how to get set up is the most important part because it's extremely, extremely important. Um, that will determine whether or not you get inboxed, right? So going through this is, is critical and there's two steps in the video. And then I also show you different ways to build your list, how to get those emails for free.
right? Um, and then there's tools that I use specifically to validate those emails that exist online because not all of them are valid emails, right? Uh, are legitimate emails. So you got to validate and verify them and then you start writing the copy. I walk you through specifically the email that I sent, right? Um, and then you build your campaign, you write it out, um, you use the tools that I give you in terms of how to make it stand out, uh, increase your open rate, get them to respond back. Now, you're going to get a ton of leads. Then you're going to have to manage it somewhere. So I walk you through how I manage it on my CRM. Um, I also give you a tiny little script, right, that you can veer off and make it your own. But at least this now gives you a framework, right? And then there's some bonus training here to help you get better at subject lines um, uh, and then a faster way to do it, right? Uh, so yeah, there's so many great things here, uh, that I set up for you and you can get started now. It's a learn at your own pace. Um, but there's also a Facebook group that you can, uh, that you will join upon signing up that you can get all of your questions answered by me specifically, right? So it's as if I'll be walking with you, um, one on one in the Facebook because I answer all the the the, uh, the, uh, the questions personally. So um, yeah, join join now, man. Join now. Get everything set up so that way once January hits, uh, you can hit the ground running. Uh, and who knows, you might even have some calls before then, right? So join today. Do this before the 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 discount expires, and start getting some deals just like this, right? Let's go back slide well I actually don't even know which one <laughs> to just like this yeah pay so hopefully that helps um, hopefully this has encouraged you um, you found a little bit of value in it but I know without a shadow of a doubt, if you pick up my course, you will definitely enhance where you're at now to a whole different stratosphere in your prospecting and client acquisition approach uh, because how that's going to set you up is butter, right? So if you manage Facebook ads for people or if you have an agency and you're looking to manage Facebook ads, dude, pick this up, get your clients. And it's easy to find people. It, it's easy to run Facebook ads. So, um, yeah, you can add that to your repertoire. At any rate, hope this has uh, been encouraging to you, and we will talk to you soon. God bless.